Welcome to the Using Custom Models with FPGA AI Suite online training. In this training, we will start with the introduction to FPGA AI Suite and how does it work, followed by custom model and supported layers, few custom model examples, and finally understanding the common errors while using custom models. Let us get into the introduction to FPGA AI Suite now. FPGA AI Suite was developed to simplify the development of artificial intelligence inference applications on Altera FPGA devices. The FPGA AI Suite facilitates collaboration between software developers, ML engineers, and FPGA designers to efficiently create optimized FPGA AI platforms. Utilities and FPGA AI Suite speed up FPGA development for AI inference using familiar and popular industry frameworks such as TensorFlow or PyTorch and OpenVINO Toolkit, while also leveraging robust and proven FPGA development flows with Cordis Prime software. Let us dive into the details of FPGA AI Suite and how does it work. You can import your pre-trained model from any standard frameworks like TensorFlow, PyTorch, etc. into OpenVINO Toolkit's model optimizer, which converts the model into an intermediate representation known as IR. FPGA AI Suite tool takes IR data as input and generates AI inference IP that can be integrated into the FPGA design using standard Cordis flows and generate bitstream. FPGA AI Suite gives you resource usage upfront, comes up with optimal FPGA architecture for your performance needs. The software flow takes the intermediate files from OpenVINO, runs it through the OpenVINO Toolkit Inference Engine to generate the runtime that can be run on x86 or ARM or RISC-V processor. Let us explore the custom model and the supported layers in this section of the training. Using a custom model has its own benefits, and FPGA AI Suite can support custom models that use the frameworks such as TensorFlow 1 and 2, PyTorch, Keras, Onyx, CAFE, and MXNet. Even though these frameworks are supported, not every layer type is supported. When creating a custom model, we have to refer to the FPGA AI Suite IP reference manual for more details. The link is provided in the slide for reference. The table lists some of the supported layers like Softmax, Max Pool, Average Pool, 10H, Sigmoid, etc. Not all architectures or layers are supported, but new ones are constantly being added based on customer demand. For a complete list of supported layers, refer to FPGA AI Suite Layer, Primitive Ranges, in the latest version of the FPGA AI Suite IP Reference Manual. You can run layers that are not supported by FPGA AI Suite by transferring data between the FPGA device and another supported device, such as CPU or GPU. If your goal is to fully port an AI model to an FPGA device, you might need to consider a performance trade-off from switching devices for processing. We can discuss few custom model examples in this section of the training. The example one is a custom CNN model based on TensorFlow 2 framework. In this example, we will remove the last fully connected layer to test if a performance difference exists. ResNet50 is a supported CNN model, but removing the last layer is not tested. This is purely for example purposes only. The performance of this customized model has not been tested and optimized. To get started, set the OpenVINO Toolkit and FPGA AI Suite environment variables properly. For more details related to the installation and setup, refer to the latest FPGA AI Suite Getting Started Guide. The link is provided for your reference. Use the DLA Compiler F Analyze Area command to check that the FPGA AI Suite installation was successful. Once installed successfully, this DLA compiler command will run the area estimator. The architecture file .arc, specifies one or more FPGA AI suite architecture files to use in the flow. F analyze area option allows the compiler to estimate the area of the specified architecture. March sets the path while compiling graph. A model must be converted from a framework into a pair of .bin and .xml files before the FPGA AI suite compiler can ingest the model. The OMZ downloader command downloads the ResNet50 trained model. You can refer to the red boxes in the slide. 
The OMZ converter command runs model optimizer that converts the trained model into intermediate representation .bin and .xml files refer to the screenshots present in the slide. The FPGA AI Suite compiler, DLA compiler tool can estimate the performance of a graph and IP architecture combination. The tool can also produce a compiled network that the runtime uses an AOT or ahead of time mode to control inference on the IP. The command explains the .arc file, which specifies the configuration of the IP architecture parameters, such as large, small, and which activations to use. The .xml file, along with the .bin, describes the network. The .bin file stores certain parameters along with the model weights and the mapping files. Here is the example of the visual representation of the scalable vector graphics known as SVG file while opening in a web browser. If you are also interested in viewing the .xml file, you can do so by using the Netron application. Here is an example of ResNet50 Netron view. Important note. This example is based on 22.4 Cortis version and FPGA AI Suite version 2023.1 where 10H activation function is not supported. 10H activation function is supported in the latest FPGA AI Suite release, that is from version 2024.2. Please refer to the latest FPGA AI Suite resources for more details. The corresponding links are provided in the resource section in this training. In this example, we will see a custom CNN with hyperbolic tangent 10H activation layers. The point to be noted here is 10H activation layers are not supported. We are going to generate the IR model, run through OpenVINO model optimizer, run through FPGA AI Suite Graph compiler to generate an ahead of time compile and use the IP creation flow to convert the model into an IP and integrate the IP to Cordis Prime Design software. This example will walk you through how to customize CNN with 10H activation layers. This means that those layers are not run on FPGA. For this graph, the only support option is heterogeneous. This may cause greater performance due to the number of additional subgraphs that need to be created. To combat this, we will replace those layers with hard sigmoid activation and retrain the model. On the left-hand side, the blue arrows indicate the 10H activation model that need to be changed. On the right, the blue arrows indicate that they are replaced with hard sigmoid activation layer. Here is an example of the hyperparameters, such as the learning rate of the atom optimized function. Since we have changed the activation layer from 10H to hard sigmoid, we must adjust the learning rate so that the similar performance will be achieved in comparison to the original graph. We have adjusted the learning rate from 0.0001 to 0.001 as shown in the boxes in the slide. Finding the correct hyperparameters can be costly, time and power consumption due to the requirements of training large datasets. Since we have retrained the model, there is only a little difference between the loss and accuracy of the hard sigmoid model and the 10H model. The values are shown in the boxes in the slide. Next, we run 10H and hard sigmoid models through the model optimizer. This step of converting both models to intermediate representation format will allow us to compare heterogeneous and homogeneous solutions. After converting both models to IR, we must compile each model in ahead of time mode. This image shows the output of the 10H model. The AOT compile of the new hard sigmoid graph shows in the performance estimator that the original graph was faster, but it is important to stress that it was an estimate. The actual throughput will be better on the new graph once we run the architecture optimizer. Next run the architecture optimizer for both 10H and hard sigmoid models. The optimizer looks for the best architecture for the specific graph. As you can see, there are seven subgraphs, three on the CPU and four on the FPGA for the 10H model, whereas for the hard sigmoid model, all layers are running on FPGA. Here we can see the output of the architecture optimizer. Notice that there is an increase in frames per second in the hard sigmoid model, and it has been highlighted in the slide. Now compare the newly generated architecture files for each graph using the F Analyze Area option using the DLA compiler command. The estimated area is shown in the slide for both models. Please verify the Cordis Prime software is installed and ensure that the Cordis root directory environment variable is set correctly.
Create the IP using DLA create IP command for both models. The screenshot will look like as shown in the slide after the IP creation is finished. The FPGA AI suite IP generation utility reads an input architecture description file and places generated IP into an IP library that can be imported into Platform Designer or used directly in a pure RTL design. Open Cordis Prime Design software and navigate to the Tools menu at the top. Then select options to add the newly created IP to the IP catalog. Select the button with three dots and navigate to the folder containing the IP you created. Once you have added both files, click the OK button to add the IP to the IP catalog. Now you can see the IP in the IP catalog on the right side of the Cordis software. Double-click on the IP to launch Platform Designer to add to your Cordis Prime project for 10H and Hard Sigmoid. The block diagram on the right shows the hardware instantiation of the Hard Sigmoid model, and it is entirely supported on FPGA. This example is based on ResNet 18 model and is based on CAFE framework. This example removes the last fully connected layer to test if a performance difference exists. The ResNet 18 model is supported by FPGA AI Suite, but removing the last layer has not been tested. The example does not show how to test the modified model. The removal is shown as an example only. The performance of this customized model has not been tested or optimized. The code snippet on the left shows that the fully connected layer was removed from the model. This removal is done by deleting the lines of code from the proto text file. The modified proto text file is then used to generate the OpenVINO intermediate representation form of the model. To generate the intermediate representation for the modified model, run the command as shown in the slide. This command runs the OpenVINO model optimizer and creates three files that are the intermediate representation of this customized model. The files thus created are deploy.xml, deploy.mapping, and deploy.bin. Let us discuss the example 4 now. This model is created with the PyTorch framework, but must be converted to Onyx to use the model with the OpenVINO model optimizer. This example adds layers to a simple multi-layer perceptron model. That means a ReLU layer was added after each linear transformation in the previous layer. A softmax layer was added at the end. These additions are shown as an example only. The performance of this customized model has not been tested or optimized. On the left you can see the original MLP model layers, and on the right you can see the modified MLP model layers. The details are shown in the blue boxes. In this section of the training, we are going to discuss about the common errors while generating IR files for the custom models. There are two common errors discussed, let us understand them one by one. The error one is known as the shape not fully defined error which provides a message as shown in the slide. Use the input shape with positive integers to override model input shapes. For instructions on how to fix this error, we have to review the OpenVINO documentation. The link is provided in the slide. You can also refer to using custom models with FPGA AI Suite application note for more details. In order to correct this unsupported layer type error, implement one of the following fixes. Use a model with supported layers, or modify the model to remove the unsupported layer, or replace it, or run the layer in parallel on a supported device. Running the layer in parallel on a supported device requires you to enable heterogeneous execution in OpenVINO. For more details, refer to the OpenVINO documentation link provided in the slide for reference. Refer to the latest Getting Started Guide, IP Reference Manual, Compiler Reference Manual, and Using Custom Models with FPGA AI Suite Application Note for more details. In this training, we have seen examples of removing or adding a layer from models to show their performance gains. We then trained, optimized, and created IP for the models to integrate them with Cordis Prime Design software. Finally, we went over some common errors that we may encounter while working with custom models. The FPGA technical training team is always looking to improve our material and welcome any feedback you may have. Please email to fpgatraining at intel.com with any of your thoughts or comments. Thank you.